Um, let me show you now a trailer of the uh, what to expect and some images from our Gawad Alternativo. So those were uh, some images from uh, our Gawad Alternativo uh, entries. Um, please note that uh, titles in the Gawad Alternativo uh, would, uh, we have at least uh, 40 or more titles uh, composing our uh, Gawad Alternativo. Next uh, is our uh, Allied Festivals and the uh, Egasai. We, uh, we have two Allied Festivals uh, with us this year. Uh, the Egasai Japanese Film Festival, which we've been collaborating with uh, for many years and pioneered our Allied Festival section. And the uh, Cine uh, Europa. Uh, festival, which is a uh, uh, which we've been working with in the past year, and now we'll be contributing uh, titles to our Allied Festival section. Um, for uh, I would like to acknowledge uh, the uh, presence of our partners uh, from uh, the uh, Cinema Europa uh, from the European Union. We have uh, Robert Leon, Information Officer, and Telma. G uh, Gekko Leav, Public Affairs Officer. Um, another section is the docu or documentary shorts and full length. As we speak, we are still finalizing negotiations with at least five major full length documentaries and at least uh, uh, another five documentary shorts title. We'll be making our final announcements of the titles as uh, we uh, uh, in the following uh, days or uh, weeks. Um, we are also going to have a Cinemalaya retro for both shorts and full length. As you know, a lot of our filmmakers have continued to grow with Cinemalaya, also started in the short film category, or some of them actually moved on to full length, but continue to make short uh, films in recognition of the specific craft and aesthetics of telling stories within 10 or 15 minutes. So we are, um, we, through a special uh, retro uh, uh, section, we are going to feature at least 10 titles from the last 15 years of Cinemalaya, which uh, to a certain degree characterizes uh, how storytelling through uh, full length and shorts have evolved uh, under the Cinemalaya uh, Festival. We also have an, our ongoing collaboration with ABS-CB and Film Archives through the Digital Classics uh, restored and remastered. So this year, we are very excited to announce that uh, ABS-CBN Archive will be uh, featuring on the Cinemalaya platform the restored and remastered version of the classic Minsai Isang Gamo Gamo with uh, Miss Nora Onor uh, as its lead and directed by Lupita uh, Concho. And this is uh, penned uh, by uh, Marina Fileo Gonzalez. Last year, uh, we held a Cinemalaya campus uh, 
competition. This was a very sh a short shorts. We called it short shorts because they had to tell the story within three or five minutes. And uh, through the guidance of uh, uh, Chuck Gutierrez and Baby Ruth Villarama, who went around and, con con and connected with our regional uh, film councils, they were able to mobilize very uh, our young students to create uh, these uh, films for competition. And we harvested six uh, titles from Iloilo, uh, the competition in Iloilo, in Bacolod, and in Naga. And uh, these uh, audience choices in the jury prizes will be shown in a special section in this year's Cinemalaya. This year, we're also remembering uh, artists who have passed on. Uh, the, we will be showing the work of Peke Galiaga and Anita Linda as part of our Cinemalaya tribute. This year, we are also very excited to have on board the milestone anniversary of Ricky Lee's master classes. Um, this will be uh, held at the Cinemalaya platform uh, in both like uh, introductory sessions and intensive uh, sessions. We continue with our Cinemalaya webinars, where we uh, focus on appreciation, uh, film appreciation sessions, uh, talks on cinematography, uh, uh, talks on design, and many other topics. Uh, this year, we are partnering with our regional uh, arts councils in Naga, in Iloilo, in uh, Bacolod, and uh, maybe reaching out also to Davao, Cebu, and other parts of the country to be able to uh, engage with enthusiasts, with uh, students who are interested in uh, maybe uh, creating their own content for shorts or even full length feature. We are excited to announce that this year we are going to have a collaboration with Kumu, which is a gaming app. Uh, Kumu is going to be our official live stream partner and uh, they will be covering uh, our awards night, which, uh, which will happen earlier than usual so that uh, this will give uh, our audiences a chance to check out uh, our winners in uh, screenings uh, online. Now, how do we then access uh, these films? We can access these films through our mobile devices by simply uh, in our homes and where we are comfortable in, in watching all of these titles. Um, and simply, we just need to uh, activate the Cinemalaya channel, choose the titles that you like, and it would give you, for example, a, a synopsis of the content of uh, what the short feature is all about. And then you can proceed to rent or subscribe. When we say rent, you can you give given the option to rent a bundle of films or to subscribe to the whole experience at a one-time rate. You can watch uh, Cinemalaya streaming on your iOS device, your Android device, your Apple TV, Roku, or Chromecast. And uh, through this, uh, Cinemalaya Online, you will be able to stream 100 plus short films, 20 plus full-length features, 20 plus webinars for as low as 75 pesos for uh, bundles. This can go uh, as high as 350 pesos for the whole experience, which will uh, give you access to our webinars, to our talk box, and many other wonderful features. Cinemalaya, uh, after the two-week festival, will all, is going to uh, broaden its reach uh, through its exciting partnership with I Want TV which will be, uh, we will be streaming um, our competition films and selected titles from the Gawad Alternativo, as well as uh, other activities with I Want TV, which has, uh, which, which has its reach uh, nationwide. And so this effectively broadens the reach of uh, Cinemalaya content online through this partnership. After that, um, Cinemalaya moves on globally by partnering with TFC, uh, global, as it brings our competition films, Gawad uh, alternative titles, and even some full-length titles to audience, to Filipino audiences in other parts of the world, as well as 
international audiences. So effectively, we will, through Cinemalaya 16, although we are not able to do this on, on site, by moving online, we are effectively broadening the reach, not only nationwide, but to the whole world. So Cinemalaya 2016 Philippine Independent Film Festival streams consciousness throughout the whole world through the World Wide Web. So um, we welcome you to the 16th edition of Cinemalaya, the country's foremost independent film festival as it goes digital. Please watch Cinemalaya 2016 as it streams online as we open a window to the world. Cinemalaya 2016, stream consciousness. For now, we, I thank you and hope you all keep safe and continue being healthy. Maraming salamat.